Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia and the First Lady, Mrs. Ani Bambang Yudhoyono, have arrived at the Garuda Wisnu Kencana Cultural Park. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm welcome to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Professor Dr. Muhammad Nuh, who will give a few words of welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, Masayu Khair, Wasingho, Bongsua, Kombangwa. Yang sama-sama kita hormati, kita muliakan Bapak Presiden Republik Indonesia, Bapak Dr. Haji Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, beserta Ibu Negara, Ibu Haja Ani Yudhoyono, para Menteri Kabinet Indonesia Bersatu Kedua, dan para Menteri Negara-Negara Sahabat, para anggota DPR dan DPDRI, yang mulia para duta besar negara-negara sahabat, putusan UNESCO, Gubernur Provinsi Bali beserta Ibu, dan para pembicara, khususnya Profesor Amartya Sen dan Dr. Farid Zakaria, serta para pejuang kebudayaan dan hadirin sekalian yang saya muliakan. Selamat datang, welcome, ahlan wasallan, hayun yang kuilin, Biang Venu Yakusu di Bali, the land of gods bagi para undangan yang mulia. Karakteristik dasar budaya adalah lintas negara, lintas bangsa, agama, dan lintas ikatan primordialisme yang lain. 
sehingga budaya menjadi kekuatan yang sangat dahsyat dalam membangun dunia yang berkelanjutan. Bahkan kita menyadari tanpa budaya, tanpa masa depan. Sans kultur, sans futur. No culture, no future. Yang mulia nantinya dapat menyaksikan dan menikmati menu yang disaksikan sebagai perpaduan dari bermacam-macam budaya dunia yang pernah melintas di Indonesia dengan damai dan harmonis. Mengakhiri sambutan ini, kami mengucapkan selamat makan. Please enjoy your meal. Bilhana wassifa. King Man Yong. Bon appetit. Kita dukisimas. Dan selamat menyaksikan pertunjukan seni dan budaya yang melibatkan beberapa negara dari dunia. Sekali lagi kami menghanturkan terima kasih kepada yang terhormat Bapak Presiden dan Ibu Negara serta para undangan yang telah hadir dalam acara ini. Terima kasih, thank you, syukron, sisi, merci, hari kato, kuzaimas. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And this evening, this song is dedicated to all the delegates of the World Culture Forum 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, Joy Tobin with Together We Can Rise.
symbolizes the world united as one through the power of culture. Please give another round of applause to our 600 performers. All of us. All of us are gathered here in Bali. 
Mali to unite our minds and thoughts not only for the economic and environmental aspects alone, but the power of culture to create sustainable development in the new global civilization world. We hope you have enjoyed the cultural performance and will bring home the beauties of Indonesia in your hearts. The welcome dinner of the World Culture Forum has concluded. We thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia and the First Lady, Mrs. Ani Bambang Yudhoyono, for attending this joyful equation. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, and Mrs. Ani Bambang Yudhoyono, will now leave the Garuda Wisnu Kachana Cultural Park. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia and the First Lady, Mrs. Andi Bambam Yudhoyono, have arrived at the site of ceremony. Join me in giving a round of applause to their Excellencies. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <coughs> President of the Republic of Indonesia and the First Lady, Mrs. Aniba Bang Yudhoyono, Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indonesia, the land of endless wonders. To greet everyone, welcome. Here is a traditional dance performed by the Gallo dancers coming all the way from Aceh. Proud to be UNESCO's World Intangible Cultural Heritage from Indonesia, the Saman Gayo Lewis Dance.
The Saman Gayo Lewis dance is one of the 14 tangible and intangible cultural heritage of Indonesia. Today, eight years later, this wonderful dream has become a reality. And we are all gathered here at the World Culture Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, to start this August occasion, Report by the Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Excellency Professor Dr. Muhammad Noon. Very good morning. Wassan Hao. Bonjour. Selamat pagi. Om Swastiastu. Alhamdulillah. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia. Bapak Dr. Haji Susilo Kembang Yudhoyono and the First Lady, Madam Raja Ani Yudhoyono Excellencies Ministers of the Republic of Indonesia Ministers of the Culture and Ambassadors of participating countries and the industry Excellencies Member of the Parliament Honorable Governor and Prominent Speakers Respected representative of intergovernmental and non-governmental organizations, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. Through this forum, we hope that in the future we are not only the, to use economic and environment perspective for the development, but we need to include cultural perspective to promote prosperity, inclusiveness and humanizing human being. No culture, no future. To conclude my report, please allow me to invite Your Excellency, Mr. President, to deliver a keynote address and to obviously open this forum. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum Welcome to the World Culture Forum. And now, ladies and gentlemen, speech by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, followed by the sounding of the traditional call in Bali, the Kulkul, marking the opening of the World Culture Forum 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming His Excellency Dr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Om Swastiastu May peace be upon us all His Excellency Professor Muhammad Nuh Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia Excellencies, Ministers, and Members of the Parliament of Participating Countries, His Excellency Mr. Francesco Pandarin, Assistant Director General of UNESCO for Culture, Professor Amartya Sen, and Dr. Farid Zakaria, our distinguished keynote speakers, and other distinguished panelists, Honorable Governor of the Bali Province, Excellencies, Ambassadors, and Representatives of United Nations Agencies and International Organizations, Distinguished Delegates and Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. At the outset, I recognize among us Mr. Philip de Leon, Chairman and Commissioner of the National Commission for Culture and Arts of the Republic of the Philippines, 
through you, I would like to once again express our deepest condolences and sympathy to our brothers and sisters in the Philippines for their youth loss caused by Typhoon Haiyan. We pray that the peoples of the Philippines will soon recover from this tragedy and emerge stronger. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our forum today gives us an opportunity to discuss thoroughly in a series of roundtable discussions on how culture can help achieve sustainable development. I believe that we will benefit greatly from the presentations and subsequent discussions. To add to your discussion later on, let me share a few thoughts on culture and sustainable development. First, sustainable development envisions a balance between economic progress and environmental protections. Therefore, we need to build on value systems and traditions that promote environmental sustainability. We need to preserve indigenous knowledge systems and environmental management practices that promote ecological sustainability. Here in Bali, for many centuries, people embrace the philosophy of Tri Hita Karana. It is the philosophy that emphasizes harmony among human, between human and the environment, and between human and God the Creator. Tri Hita Karana is the bedrock of Balinese culture that conserves and respects nature. I believe that similar philosophy can be found in every country of the world. Second, culture of inclusiveness is essential to sustainable development with equity. Whereas sustainable development itself invades an inclusive growth which leaves no one behind. Therefore, in my view, it is critical for us to integrate this culture of inclusiveness into development policies and programs at all levels. This is in line with the Convention for the Protections and Promotions of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions, which places people at the center. Immediately after the opening session of this forum, I will travel to Mount Agu at its cliff to lead the national tree planting campaign for this year, the year of 2013. I do believe, thank you, thank you. I do believe that by wish of planting a billion trees each year, within the next 20 to 30 years, Indonesia will be transformed into a much greener country. Through this initiative, I want to generate a new culture of tree planting of which Indonesia's next generation will reap the benefit from what we saw. Fourth, culture could become an important source of income, create employment, and foster entrepreneurship. According to the UN report, Cultural and creative industries represent one of the most rapidly expanding sectors in the global economy. Kembangkan sayap, kekal, dan lewat. Dan terbanglah, terbanglah, terus lurus memumpung tinggi, melampaui gunung, memecah mega. Which in English means, spread your wings mighty, and why? And fly, fly over. Stay the course and soar high over the mountains, passing through the clouds. <laughs> and finally, finally, by saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I declare the first World Culture Forum officially open. Thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Santi 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 Om. Please accompany His Excellency the President of the Republic of Indonesia for the sounding of the Balinese Kulko. Minister of Education and Culture, Professor Dr. Muhammad Nur, UNESCO Assistant Director General for Culture, Mr. Francesco Bandarin, and the Honorable Governor of Bali, Mr. Madi Manku Pastiga. to the back of this room. This is the longest bungee epic painting in the world, 60 meters in size. Bandi is the story of the local heroes depicted in the Wayang character, present since the 14th century in Java. This is the last of its time, the romance of Panji Inu Kertapi and Galuk Chandra Kirana from Pakistan the hometown of President Susilo Bambang <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now His Excellency will leave the room. Let's join me in giving a round of applause to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, and the First Lady, Mrs. Ani Bambang Yudhoyono. Kami mohon untuk langsung menuju posisinya masing-masing. Om Swastiastu. Selamat datang kami sampaikan kepada yang terhormat Presiden Republik Indonesia, Bapak Dr. Haji Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, beserta Ibu Negara, Ibu Ajar Ani Bambang Yudhoyono, di Rumah Pintar Munti Gunung, Desa Tianyar Barat, Kecamatan Kubu, Kabupaten Karangasem. Mohon terimalah persembahan tari penyambutan Tari Sekar Jaga yang berarti Bunga Kayangan. Selanjutnya mohon berkenan yang terhormat Ibu Negara Haja Ani Bambang Yudhoyono untuk menandatangani lima buah prasasti rumah pintar. Yang kedua, prasasti rumah pintar Widya Kumara, Kabupaten Bulele. Kabupaten Jembrana. 
Yang keempat, Prasasti Rumah Pintar Tunas Muda Kabupaten Bangli. Selanjutnya ada Tam yang di samping itu pula Bapak Presiden beserta Ibu Negara ada juga ditampilkan olahan dari jambu mente yang merupakan tanaman lokal daerah Munti Gunung beserta sirup mente Bapak Presiden iya dodol mente Ibu sudah jadi Bapak Presiden jadi tinggal dibungkus saja kulit jagung juga dihasilkan oleh penduduk di Munti Gunung Ibu anyam sedemikian rupa ya jadi semuanya produk lokal Bapak Presiden Semua dari daun lontar, ya. Bapak Presiden beserta Ibu Negara, inilah sentra panggung. Terima kasih Ibu sudah memberikan kami uh, seperangkat piano beserta TV dan yang lainnya. Inilah sentra ketahanan pangan. Sentra ketahanan pangan ini kami coba kembangkan dengan model KRPL. Dengan pengembangan selanjutnya akan mengadakan koordinasi dengan pihak Dinas Pertanian Tanaman Pangan, tanaman yang ditanam berupa sayuran dan tanaman hortikultura. Terima kasih Bapak Presiden, mudah-mudahan semuanya itu menjadi pemotivasi bagi anak-anak bangsa Indonesia. Selanjutnya mohon berkenan Bapak Presiden dan Ibu Negara untuk melakukan penanaman pohon mangga madu. Terima kasih kami sampaikan kepada Bapak Presiden Bapak Dr. Haji Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono beserta Ibu Negara Ibu Haja Ani Bambang Yudhoyono yang telah berkenan meresmikan lima buah rumah pintar meninjau rumah pintar Munti Gunung dan melakukan penanaman pohon. Selanjutnya Bapak Presiden dan Ibu Negara berkenan meninggalkan tempat acara Om Santi 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 Om.
menanam, menjaga, memelihara, dan melestarikan pohon guna mewujudkan Indonesia yang sehat, harmonis, sejahtera, lahir, dan batin. Oh. Ini adalah suatu bentuk kepedulian terhadap alam dan rasa cinta Bapak Presiden dan Ibu Negara terhadap bumi Indonesia. Kita berikan tepuk tangan. Dapat melindungi tanah tempat tumbuhnya dan melindungi tanaman di sekitarnya. Oleh karena itu pohon Kalpataru dianggap sebagai pohon kelestarian lingkungan. Silahkan undangan lain menuju lokasi tempat penanaman pohon. Ibu Ani tengah menanam pohon Pohon Kalpataru Yang lainnya silakan untuk mengikuti Bapak Presiden dan Ibu Negara sekali lagi telah menanam pohon kehidupan, pohon Kalpataru. Dan di tempat ini juga ditanam berbagai jenis tumbuh-tumbuhan lainnya, bibit tanaman lainnya. Dan ini merupakan upaya kita semua untuk bisa menanam selamanya.